All right, I'm already doing a update here. <laughs> so I already uh, tinkered with it for a little while here, and I figured a few things out that are pretty cool. I'd like to just share because um, I know maybe a lot of people are looking at this and probably wondering a few things, and that's cool because I know I was. So this is the Trimble GOXT, and what I did here is I took this little cover off. You can see it's just a little, little door, little screws. It's got a little gasket on here, and that uh, basically keeps the water out from the SD card right there. It's the SD card reader. And what I got here is a 4 gig SDHC. Now, what this is is a high capacity. Not a lot of stuff is compatible with a high capacity because they are a little bit bigger, but uh, um, this is very uh, this is compatible with this. I, I thought it would be just a standard SD, but it is does use the uh, HC. So that's cool. You can get these at... Uh, at microcenter.com they are you can get an 8 gig for 12.99 I believe it's extremely cheap um, I happen to have a 4 gig here I'm gonna actually put in from PNY uh, it just kinda goes in just like so and you can hear it click and it turns on so I know something had to something had to work <laughs> so I checked it um, and it did read it did read the card um, and here's what here's what we can do here now if you go to your data and you select your data, now you have the option to select SD card. So you can select default, which is going to be your main controller memory, or you can hit SD card and then you name it and you're done. Hit create. And then it's going to ask you for your bottom of rod in metric, of course. So now here's what it's going to ask me to do to get go. We want to create a point, line, or area a generic. And you can, there's a like, these are like styles, I think. So we're just going to hit close. So you want to close? Yes. Okay. So another thing, the cool thing I figured out that was, is the map. Now, map was blank last time. If you hit layers and then background files, here's the type of data you can look up. You can look up from default. So default is your default RAM again. Whatever you have stored internally, internet. Now, if you had a data phone, high-speed data from Verizon, I think this would work. You have to pair it and get it to dial into your service. But uh, OpenGIS, which is, I'm not sure what OpenGIS, but I know the Arc IMS is the Arc service. Pull this thing down here. We have a few examples of the uh, ESRI mapping service that I think they they charge a yearly fee, but uh, I know I, I I tried out there or a buddy of mine tried out their uh, service and it was, it was pretty nice so try that out uh, coordinate system default you know stuff like that whatever you want to set it to it's a, it's a coordinate system part um, and then let's go to here let's see SD card so if you want to store your SD card here here's our two files we can actually show them on our map let's go to our default back here again because we have some stuff here's a sample background just check it. It's a BMP. So I thought maybe they take a SID file. I think you need to have Pathfinder. You can load a SID file in there, crop it out to your coordinate system as a BMP file. Hit OK. Voila. We have aerial photography. So if this was us, you can actually go up here, hit zoom in, and then just tap. So now we're you can see we're kind of in the, the zoomed in. Uh, maybe I don't know if you can see it or not. We're in the zoom in command here. So just keep tapping. Boom. Right there. Now that's this is a grayscale photo. You know, you never know the resolution of it, but it, you can see it gets kind of grainy, so I mean, it's not perfect. Obviously, you can load really good photos on here. I would imagine you could load a really good high resolution, maybe a 6 inch ortho or something on here. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. So the SD card is, I think you can window it here too. Yep. So if we want a window an area, you can't see it on drama actually drawing a window on there. There it is. So if that was our intersection, we get a high resolution on here, we could window that. There we are. The resolution is horrible on it, so but it's okay. Also on here you can pan. So if you wanted to drag it and move it like that. You can also digitize, which I'm not sure what that is, but it has a digitized feature and also measure. So if we wanted to know 
how far off this building is from here to there and then it would look at the top here and I don't I guess it's too bright you can't see but it does say 27.7 meters <laughs> so delete it or we can we actually we recorded that so I can actually keep recording like this and then record it and there's another one so that's that's kind of cool go back into select that's it so that's one little thing I figured out in the uh, GOXT um, if anybody's actually got one of these you know leave me some comments and leave me things you figured out because you know I haven't even really done much with it so it'd be great alright well hey thank you talk to you later